Former fake book and Nike diversity manager gets five years in prison for $5 million fraud. Uh, should have been part of burn loot murder. You would have gotten away with it. Let me explain what she did wrong. Where this woman went wrong was she scammed corporations. She scammed Nike and fake book out of money. If she scammed idiot, like activist donators out of money, like what Burn Loot Murder did, nothing would have happened to her. You got to pick your targets if this is what you're going to do. A former diversity manager at Fakebook and Nike was sentenced to five years and three months in prison for stealing more than $5 million from those companies and that have been earmarked for DEI initiatives, federal prosecutors said. A Georgia resident, Barbara Furlow Smiles, who pleaded guilty to wire fraud in the case in December, stole more than $4.9 million from Fakebook, uh, utilizing a scheme involving fraudulent vendors, fake invoices, and cash kickbacks, uh, Atlanta U.S. Attorney Ryan Buchanan said in a statement. So after being terminated from Fakebook, she brazenly continued the fraud as a DI leader at Nike, where she stole another six-figure sum from their diversity program. Money well wasted. Yeah, uh, to be fair, that it's not like that money would have gone to any use. Uh, Frillo Smiles, 38, used the money she stole to fund a luxury lifestyle in California, Georgia, and Oregon, according to Buchanan's office, which had asked the judge to sentence her to six and a half years. Well, they got most of that, at least. Uh, she was a lead strategist and the uh, global head of employee resource groups and uh, diversity engagement at Fakebook, the subsidiary of Fakebook. So she was not Fakebook's top executive for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Oh, is that why she got in trouble? She she wasn't the, the head honcho? Yeah, the head honcho was probably mad. Like, man, that five million could have been mine. Like, you bitch, you're on my territory now. Uh, prosecutors said that while at Fakebook, she linked PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App accounts to her Fakebook credit cards and then used those accounts to pay for her friends, uh, relatives, and others for purported goods and services for a company that were never delivered. I guess she figured that no nobody would question her. Nobody would uh, would fact check her. And if they did, she'd call them racist. Uh, the vast majority of the money that went to use, uh, uh, that went to those other people was kicked back to Furlow Smiles, the prosecutor said. Well, prosecutors in a sentencing memo said that uh, Fakebook determined that Frost Smiles began the scheme within months of joining the company in current year minus seven. And the investigation found she had manipulated individuals who were close to her, uh, who, who were close to and trusted her, including former interns. She probably promised them to, so, some uh, uh, preferential treatment if they just looked the other way, huh? Uh, who considered her a mentor. Yeah, you need to watch those interns because maybe maybe they did take her, her mentorship to heart and they're going to be doing the same thing if they aren't already. Yeah, anyone trained by this whammon should be kept under very, very tight watch. I wouldn't trust them near any company resources. So after she was fired from Fakebook in mid current year minus three, Furlow Smiles worked uh, for Nike from November of that year to February current year minus one as, C as senior director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. While there, she executed a theft scheme similar to the one she did at Fakebook. Furlow Smiles, who lives in Marietta and an in, uh, or and an eight year old daughter with her uh, with her husband, was or oh oh who so lives with uh, oh in Marietta. Uh, okay. And in, okay, I guess you were saying she also lives with the eight year old daughter and her husband. Okay, was sentenced Monday in Atlanta federal court. District Judge Stephen Grimberg, who also ordered her to pay restitution of 4.98 million to Fakebook and another 121,000 to Nike. That's not going to happen, like, especially if she's also going to be in prison for five years. So she, she, it's not like she spent that money on investments that can now be seized and sold at a profit. No, she, she spent it. She didn't invest that money. She spent that money. And there's no chance of her ever making this much money again like this. Yeah, the ordering restitution in this case, it's more of a political move than anything. Because yeah, everyone knows that's not going to happen. So Fakebook previously told CNBC uh, that, that the company operated with law enforcement investigation of furlough smiles who must report to prison by July 22nd. Uh, prosecutors in their sentencing memo said that in addition to the money Furlow Smiles stole from the company, Fakebook lost more than $4.5 in addition to other expenses such as attorney's fees, which were incurred as a result of Fakebook having to uncover and investigate her fraud scheme.
I, I guess she's effectively going to be indentured to them for life, huh? We we all know that that's not going to be the case. But right, as Fakebook notes, the harm from Furlow Smiles' criminal conduct cannot be measured purely in financial terms. Prosecutors recounted in their memo her crimes also uh, resulted in anguish amongst those employees that were closely with her. Yeah, because now they're all going to be suspects too. Yeah, especially anyone who considered her a mentor. Yeah, yeah, you you better keep close watch on them. So Nike told prosecutors that she was entrusted as a leader for the company and that she would embody uh, the value of doing the right thing, which is one of Nike's key maxims. The uh, uh, Unlike Google, huh? The prosecutor said in her memo, as Nike explains, uh, uh, to say that Ms. Ferris Moss violated uh, our trust would be an understatement. The fraud committed by her violated the trust of and devastated the employees who managed and worked with her. Uh, Nike also told prosecutors her uh, for her complete lack of accountability or remorse was uh, incredibly disappointing. So Lance Clark, a lawyer for Furlow Smiles, said she's a great mother and a good person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't send her to jail. Sure, she she shamelessly stole over five million dollars, but she's a good person. Yeah. You don't want to deprive an eight year old of her mother, do you? Nope. Sorry. Don't care. Off to prison with you. Uh, when you're standing in court, you read the charges, but a lot of time charges don't make up the full totality of a human being, Clark said. A spokesman for a fake book declined to comment or for its CBC to press, re- uh, press release issued by the case prosecutors. Nike did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Yeah, I don't know why they'd want to. Uh, it's a good on them for winning the case, but it's still embarrassing. Yeah, we were we were totally suckered and taken for all we're worth. Hey, but you know, they deserve it for having that useless DEI hire. You you hire DEI, you get, well, you get DEI hires. This is what you wanted, man. Don't bitch.